Hello, my name is Karen Perry and I am a librarian. I'm here today to talk about what librarians call health literacy. Health literacy is important because your health is the most important thing you have. People with health literacy live healthier and happier lives. You're probably wondering, what is health literacy? So let me explain. Health literacy means knowing how and where to find the best information that you can understand and use to make the best decisions about your health and the health of your loved ones. People who have health literacy understand their medical conditions. They take their medications safely and on schedule, ask their doctors the right questions, eat healthier, exercise, get the right screenings and vaccinations on schedule, get better quicker, and only use the emergency room for emergencies. Health literacy even means finding and keeping health insurance and a primary doctor. Health literacy begins with having the best health information. This may sound easy, but did you know that not all health information on the internet can be trusted? Some websites provide high quality information. Many do not. Some information is current. Some is old and should never be used. That's why everyone who looks for health information needs to think like a librarian and carefully choose health information. I'm gonna show you five easy tips for finding the best health information. When you come across a website on the internet, be sure to always ask, number one, who sponsors the website? As a rule, websites sponsored by the federal government, universities, and nonprofit organizations are safe places for health information. These websites end with .gov, .edu, and .org. Also, businesses such as pharmacies and hospitals that end with .com are safe. Number two, who wrote the information? Websites that you can trust always tell you where their information came from and never hide who wrote it. They should always have a date and tell you how to reach the author. Look for an about us or contact us at the bottom of every page. And if you don't see it, click out of that site. Number three, when was the information written? As a rule, health information over three years old is considered out of date, so look for more current information. Number four, what is the purpose of the site? Are they trying to sell you a product to make money? Are they promising a medical cure? If so, click out of the site immediately. Number five, is your privacy protected? Every website must clearly state their privacy policy. If a website says cookies, your information may not be private. Always be careful about sharing your social security number or personal information. Only enter this information over a secure site. How do you know if a site is secure? Here's a tip. Secure websites have a S after the HTTP in the start of their website address. If it begins with HTTPS colon slash slash, that means that it is a secure site. Secure sites often require that you create a username and password. If unsure, call your doctor or insurance company and give this information over the phone instead. There are some excellent websites to find health information that you can trust. One of the best is MedlinePlus.gov because it is easy to read and understand and articles are available in many languages. Just type MedlinePlus.gov into your search engine. MedlinePlus.gov was created by the federal government. You will find links to health topics, drugs and supplements, medical tests, a medical encyclopedia, and health information in multiple languages. So in conclusion, studies have shown that people who have health literacy live healthier lives and are happier. So make health literacy part of your life. And remember, you can always stop by your local library and ask a librarian for help. Libraries offer lots of events to help you learn and laugh with your family and friends and improve your health literacy. So see you at the library.